I've got a question for you. Where do you go to get your asphalt? What? No, 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 no. Asphalt, tarmacadam, tarmac, bricks, block paving. You know, all the things that should go into making the sort of drive that even Tiger Woods would be proud of. But we've discovered that while your driveway will be up front, your driveway layer may not be. Hold on, I'm stuck! Tonight on a rocking road rolling road traders, the drive of your life, we show just how low this company can go. Ooh, very low. We meet the financial brains behind the outfit. He's 13. 800. And we catch up with the man who wasn't there after we filmed him there. Wow, look at this. You see, a really well laid drive can transform your house. Think about it. If an Englishman's home is his castle, then the driveway is the road to Camelot. Unfortunately, we've also found out that it's the road to Scamelot. <laughs> See, it's good, isn't it? Go, that's clever, that. Let's go. Just go. Just go. Hey, where are we going? Here's a clue for you. Gates. Head. Let's go. I think I've got it. We're off to meet the family who were driven mad by their driveway. The Irwins from Gateshead. Right, Mick. How you doing? Morning. All right, thank you. When did the earthquake strike, exactly? Uh, 12 months ago, last August bank holiday. I can see what I think is wrong, but why don't you tell me in your own words? What's wrong? What's right with it? There's nothing right. It's, it's collapsed at this area here. I can't put a vehicle on it. I've actually had a severe outset. What he says is, basically, it's sitting on soil. So what's his advice at this stage? Rip it up, because it will become dangerous. What's this beach effect we've this got here? This was meant to be a rounded step, which was to come from this point round to the other side of that thresh. The very first night these chaps left, this side of it collapsed, exposing an open drain, and I had to pull it out. The company they chose was Central Paving, who promised Mick he'd have six weeks to pay and that they wouldn't take a penny until he and his wife were completely satisfied. When did they actually ask you to pay? On the Saturday morning, about 10 o'clock. The day after they'd started work? Exactly yeah. one day, yes. Right, and presumably you said no. Exactly. And what happened then? Have a listen. Hello? Have you got the money? I thought you were a reputable company. Why are you going to tell the rest of the company Is your husband there, is he? He's still in the mood. There's a building inspector coming out, which is costing me money. Oh, yeah? Go on, big nose, carry on. You're messing with Gippo. Jordy f***ing mate. Please, don't get anybody who you f***ing want, because you're messing with proper people now. You're not messing with idiots. I'm going to see him, and I'm going to keep the shit on him. Mick, Sue, thank you. It's been an education. It certainly has. So, we're dealing with proper people. People who aren't afraid to make personal comments about your heritage or facial features. Well, Dan and I feel we're big enough to take that kind of abuse, even though Dan is from Portugal and one of my ears is slightly larger than the other. We know that proper people's central paving are based in Buckinghamshire, so it's back Dan south for us. Thank you, Dan. Oh. Hainault, to be precise. We've got a house with a drive in sunny Essex, and we've got a paving expert. No one less than John Bullock, the president of the Institute of Asphalt Technology, a man who in his time has laid more stones than Marianne Faithful. John, what should we do with this delightful little area? Right, we're going to get rid of all the gravel all the way down through, and we're going to replace it by block paving. But to make it more interesting, we're actually going to set in two curved steps to follow the curvature of the garden. The block paving has got to lead the person down to the front door and it will end up by the front window. Very importantly, we've got to consider drainage and make sure we don't flood it down there. But this is nothing that would present an obstacle for a professionally trained craftsman, right? 
No, it's very straightforward. If we phone them, they will come. And once central paving do come, householder Claire is so impressed with their proper, professional demeanour, <clears throat> she gets them to do the whole driveway and a new wall. Nearly three grand, but I mean, you know, what the heck. John gets into position in the hide. Headphones on, John. That's it. Meanwhile, Dan and I settle down for some quality time with each other and our bike. Hours of it. Before long, central paving makes sure the hammer falls on our old drive. Oh dear. And John has hardly got his headphones all warmed up before he spots something very much amiss. Well, this isn't a good start. They've actually broken the drainage channel before they've even started the job properly. Now they're trying to hide it. Unbelievable. Cover up their own mistakes. Well, they're not digging out. They should take out at least six inches and remove the earth so they can't put a decent foundation in. The job's going to be weak. It's the end of the first day of our central paving experience. Dan and I sleep like logs, safe in the knowledge that whatever happens, surely they can't get any worse today. Can they, John? John? Hmm. Well, this plastic membrane is a bit of a mystery. They say it'll prevent weed growth, but uh, laying it on top of all that broken rock and, and rubbish there, it's going to punch you, and the weeds will come right up through that very quickly. Hello, here comes the sand. Well, they're spreading that out, it's levelling it, but uh, I can't see how they're going to get the steps in there, not from a level uh, layer of sand like that. There's no, no room to build steps at all. We do want steps, don't we, Dan? Yes, we do. That, so that, that kind of step there? Right here, look. Yep. Step. step. That's what we want. Now, someone said about steps. Luckily, yeah. persistent householder Claire and husband Jeff indoors graduated from hard-nosed college, stubborn as an Oxford university. Perfect qualifications to give central paving the third degree. I wanted two little half-moon steps going down, OK? And then that's sweeping nicely round the corner. I can't see why you need steps in there. Well, that's what I wanted. Yeah, I wanted because it looked nice. Oh, you know, my parents yeah. had it done, and that's what I wanted initially. And I couldn't quite get my head around how you were going to do steps when it all looked the same level. Yeah. I'll, I'll work it out, don't worry. Leave it to me. Yeah. I'll get it all laid out first. Yeah. Right. All the blocks in. So if you come out the door and say, where's my steps? Excuse the answer you get, yeah? Because right, I'll put okay. them in after. All right, all OK. Right? I can't wait. I think Claire's got things in hand here, don't you? That block paving job will take a little while. Tarmac you can do in a couple of days, less if you cut corners. So John, Dan and I move to Buckinghamshire. Check out our place. It's a salubrious semi in High Wycombe and it is perfectly ordinary. I mean, in the way that any house covered in cameras is ordinary, you know? Hello, Mum. Now, of course, the other thing that this place has got is our very own boy from the black stuff, John Bullock. John, is it going to be a very difficult job to tarmac this little section here? No, no, it's going to be very straightforward. First thing they do is remove all the slabs from here and the edgings, take those away. Take away this earth and sand, because that's no good at all, and replace that with some good, good hardcore. And that's about uh, six inches of that material. And then that will be finished off with two layers of good, strong asphalt. Really good, good materials. There's a difference. There is a difference, yeah. Right, between good and bad. Yes. Right. OK. What else have they got to look out for? They've got to watch out for the air bricks here. You obviously mustn't go, go up to the uh, wall there, cover that over. Not only that, they've actually got to take that edge back. So they want it a bit wider here. They've got to cut the roots back. They've got to remove some of these bushes. And of course, good quality weed killers, just to make sure you, you kill the weeds. What are we talking about in terms of cost, an estimate, what it should cost? It could be, it could be circa 1,200, 1,300 quid, that sort of area. And how much time should it take? A couple of days. A couple of days. The company we want to know more about is Hertfordshire Paving Contractors. They're already known to trading standards who say they're getting complaints of the black and sticky kind. This is Ruth, she's one of us. And the fellow at the door is Mick. To begin with, I like your watch. <laughs> Thank you very much. What did you want done? Um, I just want to get an estimate for that patch there yeah. to be tarmacked. I'll do it for you for 9.50 if you want to. Before we start, 
We put everything in writing. There's no payment and no deposit. When the job is done, okay. you get a signed receipt for any payment and you'll also get a guarantee, as it says on there. Okay, so you can't Ruth, charmed by Mick and his love of her watch, makes up her mind there and then. She decides to have the job done the very next day. And the very next day, Hertfordshire Paving send in the A-team, who grasp the nettle with a very hands-on approach. Go on, pull it. Pull it like you pull your plunger. This is not much good. They've just pulled out the roots. They're not digging them out, and they've actually cut them off. They're not putting any weed killer down, so these roots are going to grow back very quickly and destroy the tarmac surface. John, that's the least of our worries, because sensing they're ahead of the game, our boys now substitute weed killer for some killer weed. And then they're just gone, man. Did you smell that? I don't know, I smelled something. It was a bit, it was strange, like that something great. wafting over from the side. I would my life was a woman. This is a crucial 20 minutes for the boys. Before it, they were in a rush. Now, they're on a rush. They're running straight. <laughs> <laughs> head rush again. Thrilled with their new expanded consciousness, they experiment with crazy new tarmac techniques, which, to be quite frank, John doesn't appreciate. Oh, this isn't much good. They're bringing the hardcore in already. They haven't removed all the earth. There should be tons of earth taken out and replaced by the hardcore, because that hardcore should provide a really solid foundation for the asphalt that goes down. This is no good. Chill out, John. Don't have a cow. I can't believe that. They're actually using the sand they took off the driveway earlier on. It's mixed up with earth, stones and all sorts of rubbish to make up a mortar. John, man, you're so square. Can't you see two guys trying to make asphalt groovy? No, the for sale sign. Good grief, using that to try and level those down. That's unbelievable. Well, while John takes a chill pill, the tarmac arrives and the boys are suddenly looking forward to an early finish. I should get this finished for you today, love. Today? Yeah. Excellent. How long till it's OK to park drive, on it? Can you just get it overnight? Oh, the tarmac's arrived. It looks as though they're spreading it far too thinly. A good quality material wouldn't be so spreadable as that. And look at the smoke coming off it, or steam or something. It looks as though it's got kerosene oil in it. And that helps them lay it. Certainly unsuitable for this job. Now, here comes the man about the house, Dom. Go on, Dom. Ask him how long it'll last. How long would this last on here? Down there. Last maybe 15, 16 years. All right, good. 15 years? You've got to be joking. Be lucky if this job lasts six months. Oh, here comes the roller. Good grief. It looks like a garden roller. That's totally, totally unsuitable for this job. You're just going to get a cosmetic finish with it. It could do with a bit of an oil as well. More worryingly, they've created a long-term problem for the house. They've covered up one of the air bricks. Hey, Dom, now ask them how much asphalt they've actually laid. So how, how thick is under here? Four or five inches. Four or five Easy, inches. No Four right. or five inches. Do two and a half inches, three inches of tarmac. Right. Right, OK, check that later, I think. You may have noticed that as payday approaches, our two boys become a cast of thousands. Geoffrey in the white shirt wants the money, 950 quid. Give us money, will you? These blokes, they've worked for six hours, used 40 or 50 quid's worth of materials. Their income must be fantastic. Put today's date on it and your guarantee starts from today. Remember Central Paving back in Essex? They seem to be having a problem remembering who they are. Bit of a identity crisis. What name are we? Central. What? Central. The TV. Meanwhile, Jeff and Claire still haven't forgotten about those steps. We're not okay with these steps, aren't we? Yeah, no, I was, yeah, I'm just explaining. Yes, what, don't what, worry about the steps, please. 
Barry, Norwich, I did say to Joe to the me, very yeah? first day please, he came on. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Please. We're going to work around yes. it. Yes. inside, yes. Chain to the... Go and lock her in the bedroom. We'll you cheeky whippersnapper. As the pieces begin to fall into place in Hainault... That's two, four, five. Dan and I head off to find more central customers... And five, eight. ..who have been well and truly, indubitably and undeniably... ..stitched up. Like a kipper. 86-year-old Mrs Bland and her gentleman friend Mr Wright, who's 96, both had unsolicited visits from our old friend's central paving. Tell me, when did you first decide to get a new drive? Well, I didn't decide. A big fella came round to the door and uh, said, would I have it done? And I said I couldn't afford it. We went, uh, we went away, my friend and I, we went away for the week and when we came back it was done. Right, it was and they'd done it for free? Oh, and they didn't, you know. There was a bill in the door for £1,200. He came the next day and I'd been to the bank and drew a £1,000 out. And when he came I gave it, I said, I have this or... Nothing. Why did you pay him, if you don't mind me asking, if you'd never told him to do the drive? Because I was frightened. And then to find my friend's driveway was done the same. Mr Wright's driveway? Yes. So they'd done both of them? They'd done both of them while we were away. So what happened there? What happened to his? Well, he had an old car in the garage and uh, the Irishman said he'd take it in part exchange, so he paid £500 and the car. For this classic, for it's his... a classic car. It was in good condition as well. Oh, it was in oh, really? very good condition. Of course it was good condition, it was in all the time. So you had a brand new drive, but you didn't have a car to park on it. It's true. The same company putting down our drive in Essex left Mr Wright with no car to park on his. Now, if they try to take Dan's bike in payment, then we will have to take steps. Talking of which, Jeff. They're hardly steps, are they? Well, that's got to all be whackered down yet. So we're going to have a proper step, are we? Well, you can't go below the bricks because nothing will hold it. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I mean, what I'm saying is we asked four days ago for steps. Do you know what I mean, right from yeah, the start? Yeah, I know what you mean. I, I've just done it in steps. So, I mean, how much of a step will we get? Because at the moment, there's hardly a step there at all. Just leave it to me, uh, and then... Are all of these stones going to be cut? Well, I am going to cut them in. OK. Not a problem. Yeah. But... Will you be happy when I'm finished? I hope so. Are you happy with the wall? Well, not really, no. It's got a bend in it. Yeah, but I've gone with... Jeff correctly spots that because they haven't prepared it properly, the new wall is about as straight as Geoffrey Archer, so he gives Stuart a bit more grief. I just don't understand why you couldn't build a straight wall. I can build a straight wall. Did you, did you know it was going to be I bent? Did. Yeah, I told be, you be, before, before you started building it? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. But no. the footing should have been done by who? I don't know. I, that... I've done the best I could. Uh, all the walls are the same. Look, that one down there is kinked at the end there. Do you know what time you'll finish? Late. I want you to be happy. I'm doing the best I can here. Oh. Unfortunately, Stuart's best is, well, rubbish. And as the night draws in, he can't even see what he's doing badly. Can you see enough there? You all right? No. I'll see it too. Honestly. Well, it's dark now. They can't really see what they're doing, and yet they've got the most complicated bit of the job to do. Now, for paving fans, some technical information on those steps. Ah, oh, it's the same f***ing height, look. They ain't got three steps, have You see these little joints here? Yeah. Put them up with concrete, yeah? OK, man. There's no way I'm cutting them in. Okay. Will you do something, will you, Sitting in the van? No, we Keen-eyed viewers may have spotted that Stuart has now had enough and he wants us to finish the job. It's been concreted at the front. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is run the tarmac in. I, I don't know how to work tarmac. I've never done it before. All right, then I'll do it. Tonight. But can you brush in the sand at least tomorrow morning? What does that involve then? Just a brush, yeah? yeah. Brush it in. Yeah. 
where it hasn't covered, get another bag yet, put it in another place, brush it in. Yeah. Yeah, make sure it's all brushed off the brick salt. Yeah. That's all you have to do tomorrow in the light. Because if you Thank do you. it, you know that's done properly, yeah? And that's all that's involved. That's all what's involved. Stuart, you know that's not how to do it. Oh, right. I, don't, I don't mind brushing the sand off. I'd rather you do the tarnate. Oh, I'll do that, that's no problem. But all you had to do was empty it out on the road. Well, 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 we paid a lot of money for this fire, but you didn't pay enough. A few moments later, Stuart and the boys are ready to go and lie down in a darkened room. There's just the matter of the money, £2,800, which, to our surprise, they insist that we hand over to the small boy with them. Maybe he's older than he looks, or maybe he just buys a lot of sweets and comics. 300, 400, 800. There you are. You're a happy man. He has one final piece of cheek. I thought the lights out with a good chip, yeah? No. Oh, Thanks. The next morning, our driveway greets us with a smile like Ken Dodd's uglier little brother. Not to mention the fact that our step down is a real letdown. Is that a step? Am I stepping? Oh, that's I'm not, not step steps. I'm not stepping. I wanted steps. I'll get you a step. Now there are three steps to heaven. No. That's the step. Go on. Easy now. That's the step. Yeah. Central paving told us that our driveway would enhance the value of our home. Has that happened? No. It's a mess. It's a diabolical mess. You've got problems with the water. They have not even thought of water drainage here. So the water's going to come right down here and create damage to the porch area here at the floor. Let's have a look at the drive, because that looks lovely and flat at the moment. It looks flat, but I'm afraid there's no construction underneath. It's not going to last. You park your car on this, you get a bit of wet weather, and it's going to form dishes where the wheels sit. OK, how about the way that it looks? Our steps, for instance. <sighs> I mean, they look bad, they're badly formed, and they're not going to last. They're going to move and they're going to sink. OK. Thank you, John. Hang on. Find the step. Good job, Dan. Guess who's coming to dinner? Yes, we've called Central Paving out to another house, and it looks like Stuart has taken the bait. So hopefully we can get to have a bit of a chat with Stuart. Fingers crossed. Move the, all these out and get yeah. a patio or something put in. Would you be able to get rid of that shed? Yeah. Hi there, Stuart, isn't it? Yeah. Hiya. Hiya. I'm Matt Allright from BBC Rogue Traders. Do you remember you came round to our place in Hainal mm -hmm. and did a job there? Wasn't all that much cop, was it? What's this going on? BBC Rogue Traders. Do you remember your, uh, the job we did there in Hainal? You were supposed to dig down underneath. But in fact, what you did... Stuart, let's talk about Mr Wright up in Aylesbury. Do you remember, uh, do you remember Mr Wright? Because uh, that was a gentleman that your company did a drive for without him asking for it. And when it came to pay, you took his car, so now he's got no car. He's got no car, but he's got a new drive. And he never even asked for it, because you did it for him, your company, when he was on holiday. Stuart, can you explain why you threaten your customers? Wasn't keen to talk, Stuart. I never even got to ask him about the steps. Oh, you know. Anyway, there you go. Central paving. Strong but silent. Well, while we were getting to know Stuart, back in High Wycombe, our car has been slowly sinking into the tarmac. And we gave it longer than they said. A lot longer. John, our driveway seems to have the consistency of a recently baked flapjack. Certainly does. Why is that? Well, should we find out why? Dan? Right, what we've got here is um, we've got just over an inch of asphalt. Um, we've got a very, very soft underlayer there. And it's a very soft material that's totally unsuitable for the application. OK. You say unsuitable. 
Is that what you mean? That is exactly what I mean. Now, as far as drainage is concerned, Dan and my highly illustrative little game of marbles proves that it's all downhill to a little puddle where it just sits. So tell me, John, what do you make of this job? Well, I have to say it's probably the worst job I've seen over 30 years of my career. Come on, Dan, let's go. Get your motor running. I can't. What do you mean? I'm stuck. What do you mean? A side stand. Ladies and gentlemen, Hertfordshire paving contractors. <laughs> They get stuck into your drive, then you get stuck into your drive. Oi, are you going to give me a hand? You'll remember Mick from Hertfordshire Paving Contractors. He was the guy that served us up the flapjack tarmac in High Wycombe. If you could maybe take the water feature out. I'm just going to take Mick out a little snack. He's looking a bit peckish. Come on. What are you going to do with the fish? Get rid. Get rid of the fish. Um, so you want this shift taken up, yeah. filled in. Where's, where's the pump for that? Don't know. Mick. How you doing? How you doing? I'm Matt Allwright from BBC Rogue Traders. Yeah. Fancy a piece of flapjack? No, thank you. Not your sort. Look at the consistency of that. No, I don't need it. You see, that's, that's the sort of consistency of the tarmac that your company left on our driveway in High Wycombe. My company? It was your company, it's Hertfordshire Wycombe. Paving Company. Hello? Just let him take a call. Who's this? Where did we get back? Yeah, it was your company, Hertfordshire Paving yeah. Company, and you left us a very thin layer of tarmac, That's not, almost no I'm only a worker, I don't have no, one. Hey, you I'm, sure? I'm positive, yeah. But you come and do the quotes. Surely when we call no, out, we get you. you so how can you, how can you account for if you sell the jobs in so the I, first place? I was asked to come out and quote a job. Yeah, so I didn't but you I came out and quoted us a job in High Wycombe. Me, I did not. Uh, you did, sir. No, I didn't. And when you quoted us that job, after yeah. that, we got a really, really shoddy job. In fact, yes. our expert said it was the worst job he'd seen in 30 years. Well, that's up to him. I, never, I don't do time. I, I tell do you, I'll tell you what happened was yeah. we put a, a car on it yeah. and the car sank into it. We put yeah. a bike on it. Yeah. The bike toppled over. Yeah. I kneeled on it yeah. and I left my knee prints in there. I didn't, I didn't do any job there. Well, you quoted us on the job in the first place, you see. No, that's the point. That's why, we all, that's why we'd be keen to find out if that's the kind of standard of workmanship well, that you usually get from Hertfordshire Paving. Well, I'm not, I'm not the boss. You want to take it up with the boss? Well, why do you come out and sell the jobs then if you're not in charge? No, I was told to come down to price of job. Yeah? I got down everywhere. Nick, is that, is that what we can expect from, from Hertfordshire Paving, is it? He drives the van, he talks the talk, he won't need my flapjacks, but he says he's not the boss. He's certainly in a pretty important position, I'd say, Mick, but uh, nothing to say for himself. Fancy flapjack? So there you have it, a collection of driveway devils. Now, if you want a moral, it's very simple. If you're going to get somebody to do your drive, make sure they're completely on the level. Let's go, Dan. Next week on Road Traders, the RAC admit mistakes, changing policy for the 8 million people they cover, and it's all because of me and Dan. A right royal result. We get sold battery after battery we don't need in a series of highly charged encounters.